are talking to a scream queen in an Entertainment City exclusive today. But first, a pregnant celeb is fighting mad about surrogacy rumors. Kim Kardashian West is not kidding around. The pregnant reality star who showed off her burgeoning bump in a skin tight latex dress last night went on a Twitter rant so unusual that even Twitter thought she was hacked. Kardashian used social media to blast speculation that she's secretly using a surrogate and planning to wear prosthetic belly to fake her pregnancy. She tweeted, Please, if I got a surrogate, I would say I did. Thankfully, I didn't have to. She also wrote, Can't wait till my website is active. I'm going to do live video streaming so every time someone talks, I can go blast the out of them. Before adding, pregnant Kiki does not play. Kardashian only has until December to deal with these faux pregnancy rumors. That's when the reality star is reportedly due. As soon as the Vanity Fair cover comes out, I'm free. Caitlyn Jenner is finally free herself and maybe the next face of MAC Cosmetics. Reports say Jenner, formerly known as Olympics champion Bruce Jenner, has met with MAC over the past few months to discuss the role. The cosmetic line has had LGBT friendly reps in the past, including Ricky Martin, Elton John, and RuPaul. And it could be a family affair. Jenner's daughter, Kendall, is currently the face of Estee Lauder, which owns MAC. If that bearded guy looks familiar, well, uh, yeah, that's because it's Channing Tatum. Told you so. The actor played a prank on fans attending an advanced screening of Magic Mike XXL, dressing up as a marketing rep. Which would you say was the best actor out of all of them? Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Okay. Tatum will next be dressing up or um, <clears throat> down as Magic Mike himself in the stripper flick sequel due in theaters July 1st. Taylor Swift knows there are a lot of perks to fame, but it isn't always a walk in the park. Sometimes it's a backwards hike in the hills to avoid the paparazzi. Yeah, seriously. After this strange pic of the star surfaced online, Swift took to Tumblr to explain what was going on. She wrote, I saw the guy with the camera and wasn't in the mood, so I hiked the whole trail backwards, and my security told me when to make turns. Okay, now that's a trust exercise. Scream Queens is the most buzzed about new series. Our Melanie Ng caught up exclusively with one of the show's killer stars, Abigail Breslin. You gals are going to stay here overnight while the Chanel's and I go get banana daiquiris at the White Stallion. Good night, ladies. At one point, you want to die laughing, and then all of a sudden, you're freaking terrified. So yeah. that's kind of the point of the show, right? Yeah, I mean, it totally is. Hysterifying. Your character, uh, tell me a little bit about her. Um, I play Chanel number no. five, and I unfortunately can't say much about her other than she is one of Emma Roberts' characters' minions. She's like awful in the best way. She's a really cool cast. Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like constantly like, what is the downside of this show? But I think if you don't like horror, you're still gonna like it. There's enough comedy in it that you can, you know, shield your eyes for a second. But I think if you're also a horror fan, then you'll be obsessed with it. You're 19, but you've got so many projects on the go. You have an album coming out? Is this nerve-wracking? Because it's your debut album. Um, yeah, it is nerve-wracking to some degree, but I wrote it all. I play guitar in it all. I sing, I sing all of it. So it's really personal, and it's like my baby, so I'm, I'm really excited for people to hear it. Breslin's album is set to hit shelves later this month. And catch her in Scream Queens this fall only on City. I'm still recovering from that uh, Channing Tatum biz, but we want to hear your thoughts on today's entertainment headlines. Tweet us at NCity.